so dear all welcome so the topic which we are going to discuss is about uh, uh, quantum mechanics module 2 PhD 1182 engineering physics so this will be the syllabus of the course we start with uh, the perfect black body radiation and uh, slowly we will, we will derive Planck's theory of radiation and from that we will reduce the Wayne's displacement law and Rayleigh Gene's law and slowly we will enter into the Schrodinger's wave equation time de time dependent and time independent wave equation and using this Schrodinger's wave equation we will have a small application that is a particle in a box so let us start with the first topic that is uh, black body radiation hope you should have studied in your lower class a perfect black is nothing but uh, the one which absorbs or emits all the radiation corresponding to all wavelength which falls over it so the radiation given out by a perfect black body is called black body radiation and to explain this phenomena let us consider a small experiment uh, before that although the perfect black body or uh, is not available uh, and uh, what we do is we will consider a small experiment which consists of a hollow sphere made up of uh, copper with lamp black on the inner surface so in the inner surface of the hollow sphere will be uh, coated with a lamp black okay so which means almost the uh, inner surface of the uh, uh, this hollow sphere is fully blackened so what this experiment uh, we are going to do is we'll make a small hole at the uh, rear end of the uh, perfect black body and through that hole all we make all the radiations to enter into the sphere so obviously what happens once the ra radiation enters through the fine hole of the uh, uh, hollow sphere it undergoes multiple reflections and it will be absorbed inside the perfect black body so uh, yeah so when the radiations are passed through the hole it undergoes multiple reflection and will be completely absorbed so hence we can say that the perfect black body is actually a perfect absorber fine so uh, which means as per the definition we, we can able to claim that the uh, setup is actually a perfect absorber now at the same time what we do is we will take this setup and uh, we will subject to some kind of external heat we'll keep it at a uh, temperature bath and we'll see what happens so when this external uh, heat is applied to this uh, black body i mean to, to this setup it starts emitting all the radiations through the same hole at the end so when the uh, black body is placed in a temperature bath of fixed radiation the heat radiation will come out only through the hole in the sphere and not from walls so when this setup is uh, placed upon a temperature bath it start emitting the radiation gradually through the hole in the sphere and not from the walls so by this we can able to claim that the black body is a perfect radiator so as per definition a perfect black body is the one which absorbs all the wavelength and also it emits all the wavelength so so let us consider a spectra let us plot a spectra corresponding to the wavelength versus the radiation intensity so here as i told you the perfect black body is subjected to external temperature or external temperature bath following which all the radiations will be coming out from the perfect black body so let us consider the body is subjected to 2000 kelvin so at this juncture all the absorbed radiation will be emitted through the fine hole and the radiation will be lying in the infrared region and slightly if in case we increase the temperature what we supply to the perfect black body to uh, 3000 kelvin then the wavelength coming out from this uh, fine hole decreases fine and uh, uh, if in case slightly we if we increase the temperature of uh, for the perfect black body and the radiation coming out will be slower uh, will be towards the visible region which means the wavelength decreases further and when we increase the temperature to 5000 kelvin the wavelength slightly decreases further and it enters towards the visible region so the wavelength and the temperature is actually inversely proportional so we will uh, discuss much in detail during the Wayne's displacement law and Rayleigh Gene's law in the uh, 
uh, subsequent classes. So uh, the scientist Planck's he uh, derived a, a theory of radiation for the black body. So that is called Planck's quantum theory of radiation. So what he assumed is what he assumed is the uh, perfect black body radiator with electrons which are capable of vibrating in all possible frequencies. So the assumption includes the energy associated with the electrons or not in a continuous mode or an, and uh, rather in a discrete form. Say for example, uh, we all know energy is E is equal to H2. Uh, that would be the first level and uh, similarly there are many different discrete value of uh, energy uh, energy associated with the electrons that is uh, 1 h nu and the uh, second level is 2 h nu and uh, third level will be the 3 h nu and uh, fourth level will be a 4 h nu and keeps on going up to uh, level r that is r h nu so uh, the theory to derive the uh, Planck's uh, quantum theory of radiation so we have n naught that is number of oscillators and uh, we have uh, EET that is total energy of oscillators and uh, E bar that is actually the average energy of oscillators. So what we have is uh, the average energy of oscillator is given as the total energy of oscillator that is uh, uh, ET divided by number of oscillators that is capital N. So let us consider this as equation number one and we have the energy of oscillator based on the diagram based on our assumption we have the energy of oscillator that is capital E is equal to 0 comma 1 E 2 E 3 E up to R E so this will be the energy of oscillators capital E and we have number of oscillator that is uh, capital N is equal to N naught level 0 plus level 1 that is uh, uh, N1 plus N2 plus N3 up to N R so we have capital E and we have capital N so the value like you know the uh, total energy of oscillator that is ET is given as the product of capital N and capital E correct so we have ET from equation 1 we have total energy of oscillator that is ET that is equal to 0 into N naught which means the product of N and E correct so we have uh, product of N naught N that is N naught into E so we have 0 n naught plus again the product of n and e which means n1 into 1 e so we have 1 e n1 plus we have 2 e into n2 so we have 2 e n2 plus 3 e into n3 so we have 3 e n3 up to r e n r so we will consider this equation et as uh, equation number 3 and uh, capital N as equation number 2. So uh, before that uh, uh, we have Maxwell distribution law. Uh, so according to Maxwell distribution law the number of oscillators having energy E is equal to R E is given as capital N R is equal to N naught E power minus R E by K V T. So this will be equation number 4. The, this is a standard equation based on Maxwell's distribution law. So now what we are, we are going to do is, so since we have different set of uh, energy levels, different set of R value, we are going to find out what will be the NR value for each energy levels. So we have Boltzmann constant KB and uh, we have R is equal to 0, 1, 2, 3. So if we consider, if we substitute this uh, 0 over here, that is uh, N0 will be given as, uh, let us substitute in this equation number 4 and we have for r is equal to 0 we have uh, n naught is equal to n naught e power let us substitute 0 over here because which becomes 0 right and uh, when we let us consider r is equal to 1 and consider substitute in the equation number 4 so which becomes for r is equal to 1 we have n 1 is equal to n naught e power minus 1 e by kbt and similarly when we have r is equal to 2 we have n2 that is equal to n naught e power minus 2 e by kbt and r is equal to 3 we have n3 is is equal to n naught e power minus 3 e re 3 e by kbt so up to it, it skips on going and now if uh, r is equal to r we have uh, n r is equal to n naught e power minus re by kbt 
so we have uh, n not n1 n2 n3 nr relation with respect to the maxwell distribution formula so what we are going to do is we have this updated n not n1 n2 n3 nr we are going to substitute this values this equations in the in the previous slide that is uh, equation number 2 and equation number 3 so we have n not that is uh, the updated n uh, n not n1 relation using maxwell distribution law we are going to substitute it over here and and at the same and uh, also we are going to substitute in equation number 3 that is a uh, uh, total energy of oscillator capital et so let us start with uh, let us substitute the uh, these values that is uh, n not n1 n2 n3 all these values in equation number 2 first so let us substitute this n not n1 n2 n3 up to nr in equation number 2 that is uh, capital n is equal to n not plus n1 plus n2 plus n3 up to nr so when we substitute it we will have a, a lengthier term that is capital n is equal to and uh, we have all let us uh, we have substituted all the updated n not n1 n2 terms so this will be n1 term this will be n2 term n3 and up to nr term so let us take uh, the common terms outside the bracket and we have n not as a common and n not into 1 plus uh, we have e power 0 is 1 so 1 plus e power minus 1 e by kbt plus e power minus 2 e by kbt plus e power minus 3 e by kbt plus e power minus r e by kbt so if you closely look at the equation it will be in a geometric series form Uh, we compare with the geometric series form that is 1 plus x plus x square plus x cube that is equal to 1 by 1 minus x so we can write this above equation as per the geometric series where x is equal to e power minus 1 e by kbt so so finally we have n no, n is capital n is equal to n not into this term 1 by 1 minus x so 1 by 1 minus e power minus 1e by kbt this will be equation number 4 now what we are going to do is uh, so we uh, we have revised this equation 2 as per the maxwell distribution law now we substitute this uh, once again this uh, n not n1 value in third equation that is et so let us start so let us take uh, and substitute the value of n not n1 n2 n3 up to nr in equation number 2 that is uh, uh, capital et that is equal to 0 n not plus 1 e n1 plus 2 e n2 plus 3 e n3 up to r e n r so we are going to substitute this uh, n not n1 n2 n3 up to nr relation in total energy of oscillator that is capital et So once again we will have a lengthy equation that is capital E T that is equal to uh, we have a very lengthy equation and let us take the common terms outside the bracket. So let us take n not capital E into e power minus one e by kbt outside the bracket. So we'll take this outside the bracket. So uh, we have zero plus one. Plus two e minus one e by kbt. So we have a uh, minus two over here. So minus one is already outside the bracket. So we have plus two e e power minus one e by kbt plus three e minus two e by kbt plus four e minus three e by kbt up to r e minus r minus one e divided by kbt. So this equation is once again uh, in the geometric series. We have uh, let us compare it with the uh, geometric series that is. 1 plus 2x plus 3x square plus 4x cube, we, which we can rewrite as 1 by 1 minus x square. So we have the updated relation that is E T that is equal to capital N not E capital E into E power minus 1 E by K B T into so we have 1 by 1 minus x square. So we have taken the x term is uh, as E power minus 1 E by K B T. So 1 divided by 1 minus the x term. e power minus 1 e by kbt the whole square so this will be equation number 6 so if you see uh, uh, the previous slide so as per equation number 2 and 3 we have updated equation number 2 uh, that is capital n and uh, et based on the maxwell distribution law now that ne next task what we are going to do is 
uh, we have to substitute the updated equation uh, 2 and 3 in equation number 1 hope it's clear so let us start doing that one so we have uh, based on Maxwell distribution law uh, we have uh, updated uh, ET and updated N term so that uh, value we have to substitute in equation number 1 so equation number 1 is nothing but uh, E bar is equal to ET by N so let us substitute this equation that is uh, for uh, ET whatever we have got we have substituted over here as a numerator and capital N whatever the updated term we have got we are substituted as re uh, denominator we will just uh, strike out the uh, common terms and we will just simplify this e above equation and uh, let us uh, before that let us for easier purpose let us take a uh, bring it back to the numerator and let us strike out this uh, common term that, be, that is 1 minus e power minus e by kbt whole square and here we have we have the same term with respect to the power 1 so those term will get cancels out and n naught n naught get cancels out and finally we have e power this term that is capital E e power minus 1 e by kbt divided by in denominator we have power 1 right one term get cancels out and we have uh, this term price to 1 so 1 minus e power minus e by kbt so we have uh, capital E e power minus 1 e by kbt divided by 1 minus e power minus e by kbt we'll simplify this this term further and uh, we will bring out this numer uh, numerator term uh, down to the, uh, to, the denominator ter uh, to the denominator term to make it very simple and finally we will uh, take LCM and finally we have capital E divided by E power E divided by KBT minus 1 so uh, when we substitute we have we, we all know that energy E is equal to H nu when we substitute this relation over here we have the average energy offset that is capital E that is equal to H nu divided by E power H nu divided by KBT minus 1 where we have just substituted this E term in the form of H nu so we have uh, the average energy offset that is uh, E bar is equal to H nu divided by E power H nu by uh, KBT minus 1 let us consider this as equation number one e equation number x so now we have uh, we have to uh, remember one one more thing that is uh, the number of oscillators per unit volume uh, with a range of frequency nu and nu plus d nu is given as capital n is equal to 8 pi nu square by c cube into d nu let us consider this as equation number y so equation number y we have to keep keep in uh, have a remember of this equation number y so finally the Planck's energy distribution law or the energy density per unit volume that is E nu D nu is given as the product of number of oscillators per unit volume that is capital N into the average energy of oscillators so what we have obtained uh, for the, uh, the length of derivation that is capital E bar into the product of capital N so we have uh, N into E bar and let us substitute this equation number x and equation number y in this equation we have finally the uh, Planck's energy distribution law in terms of frequency that is uh, e nu d nu is equal to 8 pi nu square by c cube d nu into h nu divided by e power h nu by kbt minus 1 so this is Planck's energy distribution law in terms of frequency <laughs>